All right, so uh, this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and as well Taurus Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading March 23rd to uh, March 29th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below. It's uh, going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase uh, such. So that being said, moving to the uh, reading straight away here, the first card, which represents the very topic of your week, uh, Taurus, is going to be the King of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic here. Uh, that is to be the Knight of Pentacles. Afterwards, the third one is going to be the challenges that you have to overcome throughout the week. That is to be the Queen of Pentacles. A fourth one stands for the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. That is to be uh, the four card. And just to mention, we do have a beautiful cooperation here coming up for you throughout this week. Hopefully uh, you have the, not the audacity, but let's say the eyes and as well the, uh, the readiness, the willingness, if you will, to grasp on it. Uh, afterwards, it is uh, how people are going to take on you, and that is to be the moon card here. And the last one, which represents the guidance that uh, Tara is offering, that is to be the Ten of uh, Swords. So those, um, those six cards. Okay. So uh, moving to the first couple of cards, which represents the energies and then the topic itself. Uh, these two, we do have the Knight of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles. So energy wise, um, a Knight of Pentacles, it is about slow progression in terms of energies that uh, things are going to happen slow, but they're going to happen um, with enough, uh, say, structure and with enough uh, security was the word that I was searching for that you can hope for. So those things uh, in terms of career or in terms of relationships, say projects or, or relationship endeavors. So those things are as a, as solid enough not to fall into ruin moving, moving forward into the future. But if we have to relate that to the situation itself, which is the King of Pentacles, we can see a, a really a person that now in such presented situation is more determined than ever to uh, the, this expression does not even kind of is accurate but i don't know how to say it in english but to give you a chance for whatever now uh <clears throat> that could be a person that it is uh, more than ever determined to give you a chance in terms of relationship that is a person who is more than ever willing to give you a chance to work for them for example or more than ever willing to give you a chance to make a business together or, or you name it that is because uh, the situation wise king of pentacles is someone who always um how can i say it uh, calculates calculates very meticulously the consequences of their investments and now with those energies they are seeing more and more reason to invest in you either emotionally either materially you know or with time or with efforts it could be as well a helping hand if you will but now they do kind of have that determination that you are the right person for them for whatever endeavor they have in store for you however uh, important thing to be said about the king of pentacles it is that they can be very generous but they despise charity meaning that yes they are going to give you a lot but they do expect a lot in return as well so just one second because the skype or viber wants to update the most un un unappropriate moment so my point here was that as soon as they start making an approach any kind of approach you know it could be a text for example out of the blue hey how are you doing how you are coping with our whole situation you know or uh, you know i do have an, an idea do you want to listen to it i mean i have a big plans and so on and so forth when they kind of start making an approach they would want to see interest they would want to see a, a reciprocal approach from your behalf instead of for example giving them a silent treatment complete neutrality here or kind of like indifference of what they has 
to offer. Uh, now, sadly, I cannot say in such presented situation that you are going to spend a lot of time together because this is what the energy is predisposed here. Knights of Pentacles is about spending time among nature and all these kind of stuff. But I don't believe that that will be in the most of the cases in a such presented situation worldwide. However, uh, that could be a lot of time spent, for example, on the phone, in the social media as well, and in generally so because that's the thing with those two cards. It's about finding the ground where what you want, it is what this person wants as well. Because that person may want a, a long-term relationship, for example, and they now more than ever see that you are someone who can give that to them, all right? That person may kind of want a, a very stable and solid business partner, and now more than ever they see these traits in you as well, and that's why they are to make a certain approach, and you should, it's very important, the very first impression you make to the King of Pentacles, because these people, they are with resources, and they truly can do whatever they're saying, okay? But the very first impression, once again, that you're gonna make in them is going to define, are they gonna continue being generous, or they're just gonna set you aside and they are no, no longer gonna bother with you at all. So moving next, we do have the challenges that you will have to face here. We do have Queen of Pentacles, that is another person. And Queen of Pentacles, it's a person who always encourages you to um, kind of like try to maximize potentials into the current deeds that you do have. In other words, someone who is strongly advises you against doing that new cooperation because at the end of the day we're talking about a new cooperation here okay and queen of pentacles tells you you don't need that okay you you just you will be better off being sharing say your life in one way or another either career love life or or, or the entirety of your life with this person that comes around here king of pentacles you can achieve more by yourself in one or another way and challenging wise it will be for you not to close yourself because the next one which is uh, the gifts and the blessings uh, that is the full card and the full card as a gift and blessing it gives you just in your beginning that's that's the whole point here i this is what i said at the start here before i turn all of the cards a beautiful new cooperation and uh, the the full card as a gifts and blessing it does promises you completely brand new experiences that you're gonna have with that person, King of Pentacles, who can be a man, who can be a woman as well. Uh, the court cards are just archetypes, okay? They do not define people by a gender, by their sex. But also uh, the full card as a gift and blessings uh, gives you a, a very carefree and detached week and if i have to relate it to the current worldwide situation uh, if you have been bothered by the whole quarantine stuff and all that it doesn't look like that with the four card as a gift and blessing that's kind of like a uh, really nasty and poignant feeling of that the world is going is sinking is gonna get to you that hard as beforehand okay and you are going to kind of increase hope that things are to resolve and my personal opinion is that the things are to resolve very very quickly just on a side note guys um an, a treatment that really slows the virus it's already found here in europe uh it's uh, it's a bit tough because it's a uh, substance that have been prohibited in europe for the past 40 years because it has a detrimental um, effect on the human bodies but it has even bigger detrimental effects on the virus itself and we in our country we do have three cured cases since last night okay so it does work the problem is what are going to be the side effects and right now our country is mass produced it i is uh restructure restructuring to to mass produce the ingredient which is quinine phosphate it's just that's the that's the ingredient that slows the virus and it reduces the lethality rates to a bare minimum so uh yeah uh, thing with the full card it is that once again you are to be gifted with more carefree behavior more hopes 
for uh, the things are going to be set right, not just with the global population, but with your own things, you know, that uh, your job is going to get back to normal, you know, your relationships are going to be on point. Uh, and uh, as well, you know, your lifestyle is going to be on the money as well. Uh, not to mention that you have a really good chance here throughout the week, uh, Taurus, to find new hobbies with the four as the gifts and blessings, because the four bless you with art and muse that becomes the foundation of your life. OK, and you can find much more amusing things or much more amusing experiences into things and enterprises that up until now you have neglected because you had uh, the whole world brought down to your knees. And moving next. Uh, uh, oh, la one last thing here that I forgot to mention. And you can find those things very well by cooperating here with this person, King of Pentacles. Moving next, it is how people are seeing you, what kind of an impression you are leaving into the people around. And that is the impression of the moon card. Not a very good one, to be honest, uh, because the moon card, it kind of it speaks for insecurity. OK, and uh, although you may have uplifted, uh, uplifted kind of like spirit and behavior, you know, I mean, generally you are going to be more happier than the people um, than the people are around you, Taurus. Uh, it seems that people are going to look at you as someone hysterical, that this is a, a hysteria rather than a, a genuine uh, hope for the future than anything else. Now, remember that card points how people see you and does not reflect your true standpoint. OK, so that being said, uh, you know, you may kind of see that your family is a little bit more worried than uh, for you than usual. OK, you can see, for example, that your suitors are kind of like uh, very apprehensive because they don't know how their actions are going to affect your relationship with them. OK, you may see that your boss is a little bit on the edge when they are tackling with you because once again, they don't know how well you are coping with the whole situation in your life in general. And uh, it will be best here if you find a way in any way possible to reassure those people, OK, that you have not uh, abandoned your original idea, whatever the idea is for career or for relationship. And the things are going on and, uh, and the things are to go on exactly as they have been planned up until this point. And uh, last one here, just one second, guys. Uh, last one here, it is about uh, the guidance that Tara is offering. We do have uh, the Ten of Swords. So Ten of Swords as a guidance card, it does point to very radical and drastic. Um, it's not even a change. It's more like traversing a, a bar, okay? Like um, up until this point, uh, you had to make some actions and some decisions that you simply postpone because you did not want it to face the uh, the consequences of those decisions and those actions. And that card advises you to take those actions and those decisions throughout this week because uh, bottom line, it is that you can't postpone forever. OK, for example, you have to say something to your, I don't know, wife or a husband that you know that is going to be a bit, um, it's not going to be taken very well but nonetheless you got to tell that to them uh you, you have to tell something to your boss as well or you have to do something in your career that your boss ain't gonna like well one or another way you have to do it and so that is the week that the ten of swords advise you to do it now the question is why because always those uh, irreversible actions and irrevocable decisions are having as a product of uh, they are taking a, a new era, a new uh, like approaching a new dawn into one's life. Now, if you observe the card here, the person dies uh, in the darkness, which uh, the person is an archetype of the current things that have been so tense that something breaks. OK, and once these things dies, meaning that you are over them anymore. I mean, you set them aside, you know, you have to say something, you just say it and get done with it. OK, and uh, whatever is to happen is to happen. And uh, after that, when those things dies, uh, a new dawn is emerging on the horizon. It's kind of like in looming out there. So, yeah, that will be simultaneously for you, Taurus, a bit tough week because uh, you can't 
run for from uh, from the not the mess but from the situations you have been creating up until point forever and um sidewise it it does look like that you are also going to have a beautiful cooperation coming at your uh, at your plaza here either career wise or either relationship wise it will allow you to unfold even more and it will allow you to be even happier than now so that being said guys this was your weekly general tarot reading hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, once again if you are interested in a personal reading with me Checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can uh, purchase. Search in upon purchase. I will contact you within 24 hours explaining you how your reading is going to take place. Stay safe now and uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until now, bye.